Today I'm going to be showing you how I find influencers to generate me 5 figures a month way easier than they should. So I get asked this question a lot and I'm not really sure why. There's a lot of people that think it's this magic 3.145% engagement rate but I really don't look at engagement rate much at all. I'm going to be showing you what I do look for in an influencer. So to find the influencers, it's super easy. All you need to do is look up keywords on your niche, and then once you find a good looking account, hit the suggestions arrow next to the follow button, and you're gonna see a bunch of other similar accounts. Now it gets to the hard part, filtering through the dozens or even hundreds of influencers that you have found. You're going to want to stick to above 50,000 followers and I would recommend somewhere around 200 to 400,000 when testing products. It's not just about the number of followers, it's also about the type of followers. You're going to want English engaged followers. So you can always ask for a page's demographics and if they're a business page, they can show you the top countries where their followers are from. The ones you want to look for are the US, UK, Canada, and other English speaking countries. If you don't want to ask for a page's demographics or you just want a rough idea, you can always look through their comments, likes, and followers. One key thing to look for in the comments is if other accounts are being tagged. There's bots that can go comment stuff to boost up the post but they never ever tag other accounts. That means there's real engaged followers. Another thing to look for in the comments is engagement groups. These are other accounts in that niche that are usually really large and they comment stuff like nice and cool and this helps the post get on the explore feed. But it means that the accounts probably don't have engaged followers so you want to stay away from them. Look through the type of accounts that are following and liking their pictures. If they're English legitimate looking accounts then it's probably okay. Other than that, you just want to make sure the page has a decent amount of likes and comments and that the price reflects the engagement. I would recommend sticking to above 1% engagement unless it's a massive account. I'll leave a link in the description of this video to the engagement calculator that I use. As always, my social media is also in the description, so please feel free to DM me with any questions you may have. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.